Four teams. We're down to the last four then. The penultimate round in this fine competition. The two teams ahead of us here have their eyes firmly fixed on the grand prize. They both believe it is within their compass. Having come this far, they're entitled to believe that. The competition has provided us with a lot of drama up to this point, and I'm sure there is plenty more to come before it reaches its ultimate climax. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. impressive match that So it's a straight shootout for the final. That's what we're going to see. There's nowhere, Jim, you would rather be. A game, some may argue, with justification as being harder than the final itself, Peter. I can certainly attest to that from my own experience. While you do everything to tell yourself you shouldn't get too ahead of things, it's actually harder than it seems. But it's looking like a terrific occasion here. Let's just hope we have a game to match all of this wonderful expectation. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter. And he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball. So don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. And the through ball is intercepted. Thiago. Spain are uh, working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Laporte, Jordi Alba. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. And it's Aspilicueta. Sergio Busquets. Still goalless at the moment. Moreno. 
Barrera. Insigne goes steaming forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. No, he wasn't being fooled. Lorenzo Insigne. Coque. And here's Moreno. Emerson tries to get it forward quickly. Eric Garcia. Sergio Busquets. Now the counter. Beautifully done. And here's Jorginho. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Nice one to Chiesa. And it's Ferrati. Jorginho. And if anyone is going to break the deadlock... Heads it! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. Chiellini drives it forward and through to the goalkeeper. Eric Garcia. Coque. Spain keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it. Insigne. What an adventurous run from a defender. Jorginho, Marco Verratti. A really good feat. Lorenzo Insigne. Jorginho. Chiesa gets on the end of it. That's a brilliant interception. And the semi-final reaches halfway. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story, as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Italy playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. And it's Jorginho. Immobile had a shot. And that's off target. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Well positioned to make that interception. Jorginho. Deftly done. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Marco Verratti. We're still waiting for a goal to report here. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Chiesa. Barrera. Chiesa. Cut out in the nick of time. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. Coke goes looking. Chiesa, he spotted the run and played him through. Benucci positions himself well and cuts it out. Chiesa. 
Gorgeous control there. Hit into the middle. Deep. Lorenzo. Immobile. Well read, he sorted that out. Oh, good interception. Chiesa. He's through. Could be a chance. Hits one! That's gone a long way up and away. He's made sure that that won't get through. Chiesa. Lorenzo is charging up on the overlap. Italy merit full marks for their attitude. Chiesa concedes a free kick for that. Kepa sends that a long way. Bonucci looks to dink one in. Bellotti. Bellotti. Shot at goal! This could fall anywhere. Rodri gets good distance on it. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Up he gets! Oh, that's incredible! And that might well be that! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Italy making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Italy take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. And it's Laporte. And he's away. Chiesa. Chiesa goes up and over. That's the through ball. The uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And in time is up. And there goes the whistle. Italy have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expecting to win it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, they passed that test in flying colours and they have every reason to believe that they can go all the way now.